You know that feeling of irritation when you get a little something stuck in the back of your throat and nose when you get sick? That's phlegm, and it's produced by the mucous membrane that lines your nose, mouth, throat, sinuses, and lungs. Phlegm isn't completely bad. In fact, it's a vital part of protecting and supporting your entire respiratory system by trapping dust, allergens, and viruses. Phlegm can create problems when there's too much of it or it gets too thick, making your throat feel uncomfortable and irritated. Thankfully, you can limit your mucus production by paying conscious attention to the foods and drinks you consume. In this video, we'll explore the top 13 foods that cause mucus buildup. Let's get into it. Mucus protects us from potentially harmful dust particles and bacteria that can penetrate your nose while breathing. It also lubricates our cell tissues. The main problem with mucus arises when its production spikes, which results in an abnormal cough and starts to form complications in respiration, saliva formation, vocalization, and digestion. It can also lead to congestion in the nasal passages, general respiratory discomfort, and difficulty breathing. When there's too much mucus, it begins to build up within your respiratory tract. Because of this, you risk having a host of common yet unpleasantly inconvenient and uncomfortable illnesses like common cold, influenza, and common flu. Suppose you're already sensitive to respiratory illnesses caused by mild respiratory infections or asthma. In that case, you have to take note precisely of which food you're eating and what contributes to the buildup of excess mucus within your system. Let's begin with sugar. Sugar is inflammatory, and when your body is victim to anything that irritates inflammation, the production of mucus rises quickly. Sugar in measured quantities is not bad in the case of mucus production. For example, naturally occurring sugars in foods or a tiny tablespoon in a hot cup of tea will not dramatically affect your system. But consuming refined sugars can severely react to the levels of mucus production. Try to balance it if you've noticed sugar consumption often leads to your excess mucus. Next is milk products. All milk and dairy products like cheese, ice cream, yogurt, and butter can cause rapid increase in the production of excess mucus in your respiratory system. These delicious everyday dairy foods have a protein called casein, which increases the production of mucus and sinus infections, and can cause nasal congestion due to difficulty in digestion and sharp putrefaction. A study conducted to examine the effects of dairy versus non-dairy diets on levels of pharyngeal mucus secretion found a significant reduction of nasal pharyngeal secretion in adults with non-dairy diets compared to others. Also, dairy products have lactose, a sugar that also enhances mucus secretion while at the same time temporarily thickening it. If the mucus gets thickened, it requires a long period to be discharged from your body allowing the various allergens to remain in your body for an extended period. Soy In all plant foods, having too much soy can lead to more chest mucus than any other. Soy also enhances the possibility of building up unhealthy mucus in the body. If you're already feeling sick, it might be wise to leave that soy milk and tofu off the diet until you start feeling better. Are you often getting sick? you might require vitamins to keep healthy. Check out Naturella One Daily Vitamin for Men for all your vitamin requirements if you're under 50. It's packed with 23 essential vitamins and minerals to support men's health. It also boosts your natural energy and vitality and helps your heart, brain, eye, and immune health, all in just one daily multivitamin for men. If you're a woman, then check out Naturella Whole Food Multivitamin for Women 50+. It's designed for women 50 plus and includes targeted herbal blends to support your joints, brain, heart, and eye health. It's made with natural organic fruits and vegetables for that whole food nutrition your body needs. Coming back to our list, bananas. Bananas are amazing. From healing and building muscle to being a great source of potassium, bananas do a lot of good for your body. Still, if you're one of those unlucky individuals, then bananas can trigger congestion problems. Bananas can push your body to release histamine. Histamine is a compound in your body when the body combats any allergic reaction. 
This ends up causing your nasal tissues to swell up and become watery due to excess mucus production. It's not a great choice to keep bananas away from your diet, but if it creates a problem for your respiratory situation, then definitely consider limiting the quantity you eat. Fifth on our list is alcohol. Sometimes it feels good to wind down, a little tipsy with a drink or have time over a beer with a friend. But if you want to reduce mucus production, then alcohol is something you should cut down on. After having alcohol, the blood vessels in your nose and sinuses expand, which leads to increased blood flow and nasal and sinus congestion. Also, alcohol causes dehydration, which can further increase mucus in your sinuses and nose. Tomatoes can be triggering. While tomatoes are popularly known to be anti-inflammatory, they could make your allergies terrible in some cases. Tomatoes can also trigger a rise in histamine levels, which promote mucus production. Also, tomatoes have high acidic content, so they can be a problem if you have acid reflux from time to time. Acid travels to your throat and can make it swollen and have mucus sticking to it. Red meat and eggs. Eggs and meat are both brilliant sources of protein that can do wonders for many people's diets. However, both can start a buildup of mucus within your throat because of the protein content. Processed red meats high in saturated fats are some of the worst foods that can cause excessive mucus. According to a study, meat intake or meat-containing foods with savory mixed dishes increases the risk of developing a cough with phlegm. If you have respiratory issues after having processed meat, try to source meats that are organic and unprocessed, like from a local butcher shop. Avoid gluten-rich food. If you have gluten sensitivity, you might notice that eliminating gluten will clear things up quite a bit. One of the biggest gluten-heavy foods is wheat, and like all other things in this video, if anything inflames your body, mucus buildup will likely be one of the results. Next is fish. Not all fish cause inflammation, but tuna is high in inflammation and causes histamine production, leading to nasal passages swelling. If you feel nasal congestion after having fish, start assessing how your throat, nose, and breathing feel when and after you eat fish, and importantly, what kind of fish. Nuts are notorious. Nuts are known for causing severe allergic reactions and could also bring bad news for your sinuses. While not all people have serious side effects from eating nuts, if your body is allergic to them, they can overdrive with histamine and cause mucus in your body. Cut down on caffeine. All beverages like coffee, tea, and soft drinks contain caffeine, a diuretic that dehydrates your body. Dehydration in your body can lead to a much thicker mucus, so reducing caffeine and switching to healthier options like green tea or mint tea is better. Additionally, mint will also clear nasal congestion because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Twelfth on our list are spicy foods. Did you ever think about why your nose starts running when you eat something too spicy? It's because spicy foods also trigger histamine production in your body. You might be sensitive to it if you frequently get mucus buildup or watery nose from spicy foods. So, better list the foods irritating you and replace them with alternatives that work. The last one is pizza. As we discussed, if your body is sensitive to specific foods, you're more likely to have congestion. Regarding sensitivity, pizza might be the best culprit out there because of dairy from the cheese, tomato from the sauce, and gluten from the crust. It combines all the foods we've talked about in this video so far. But if you can't live without having your favorite slice of pie from time to time, try having it with some cayenne pepper and onion and see if there's a reduction in mucus buildup. If you have excess mucus in your system, then try having warm drinks. It'll help you clear your mucus buildup by thinning it out and flushing it out of your system. Try clear soups and hot teas without caffeine that provide much needed hydration while also tasting good. A lot of the foods we discussed in our video today are inflammatory, so the perfect solution for mucus buildup is to eat more anti-inflammatory foods like grapefruit, honey, ginger, and leafy veggies. 
A few simple dietary changes can do you some good. Care to learn more about mucus in your respiratory system? Watch how to get rid of mucus and phlegm in your chest and throat. Or 19 foods that improve unhealthy lungs and help you breathe easy. Click one, or why not both, to keep the conversation going. Do you know more foods that lead to mucus and phlegm? Let us know in the comments below.